Very pleased to be here today in Millbank, South Dakota with Doug Wilkie and Valley Queen Cheese. If you wouldn't mind, explain a little bit about the history of Valley Queen and kind of bring us up to kind of where we are today. So the company, again, uh, celebrating 90 years in business, was founded by two Swiss immigrants that uh, met each other in, in Wisconsin as cheesemakers, uh, were on their way to establish a, uh, a cheesemaking site out in Montana and stopped in Millbank, South Dakota, mm -hmm. uh, to get gas on their journey. And uh, to make a long story short, they ended up uh, spending the night here. And uh, 90 years later, here we are. But the company has uh, had a history of, uh, of being progressive, of uh, being innovative, and uh, investing in long-term growth and investing in employees. So we've gone through uh, many expansions over the years mm -hmm. and have grown the business uh, significantly. Um, today, we're embarking on a $53 million expansion. What's fueling the growth? What's the basis for the growth? And, and how does innovation play a role in that? Yeah, so we've got a, a really a couple facets to innovation. So when you look at some of the new technology and equipment innovation, we've done some pretty unique things in our process and mm -hmm. in our packaging area to meet the demands of, of today's customers from a quality or traceability standpoint. When it comes to finished product, what we're really focused on is helping our customers bring a product to the marketplace mm -hmm. that there's consumer demand for. Yeah. So a lot of times it, it can be a flavor, it can be something that's got a uh, nutritional benefit. And when we think about sustainability, a lot of times it's just really good business practices mm -hmm. that make sense. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, we're, we're water neutral here. We harvest enough water out of the milk through reverse osmosis systems and polishing systems that we really don't use very much well water or city water. We're able to pull that water out of the milk and reuse it in the plant. Um, We've switched to all energy efficient LED lighting in the plant to save electricity. The new boiler we put in has a stack economizer where we recover the heat off of the stack to heat the water in the plant, which has huge energy savings. The uh, wastewater treatment plant we built, it exceeds the regulatory requirements for discharge. And we also have uh, ongoing conversations with our dairy farmers about sustainability at the mm -hmm. farm level. A lot of it goes back to that, that Swiss heritage and that Swiss precision. So when you think about what we do here mm -hmm. every day, the process starts up every day at the exact same time. Cheese goes to the table at exactly 918 and uh, the willingness of the organization to embrace uh, technology and precision mm -hmm. has really been a huge part of our growth. But when you take a tour and you see these mm -hmm. kinds of things, seeing, seeing is believing and uh, realizing the precision uh, and, and the coordination it takes. Well, and I think it's important that, uh, that everyone understands the supply chain yeah. from farm to fork, and this is part of it, so we're excited. 